we've gotten a new letter from the chairman and in this video i'm gonna go over all the key points that you care about let's just get straight into it for this one the squadron 42 team has been working diligently to transition the game from being feature complete to content complete aiming for a level of polish that befits its status as a spiritual successor to wing commander progress updates will be shared at the upcoming citizen event at manchester england so now i suspect that the update will probably pertain to the release of squadron 42 i think it's going to release around that time i think that will be the perfect time for them to actually drop squadron 42 efforts are also underway to implement server mesh technology and expand star citizen universe to multiple star systems a significant milestone in the lore known as first jump day was celebrated in recent tech preview marking achievement in server meshing and replication technology the tests allow players to traverse seamlessly between two star systems stanton and pyro via a wormhole achieving a record of 350 concurrent players in a single instance the replication layer technology is nearly released which will address issues like server crashes and enabled a connected shared universe experience for thousands of players simultaneously this is one of the big things that i'm really excited about to be able to jump and also have replication layer in there where we can have server recovery and to also have that many concurrent players you can have all of your org members and friends all in the same shard that's going to be very exciting the new cto also discussed the progress of server mesh and technology emphasizing its importance in creating a seamless large-scale multiplayer experience the replication layer will be released soon with stars in alpha 3.23 and soon after that we'll be seeing the first multi-server mesh in star citizen alpha 4.0 the future roadmap includes various technical tests with different meshing configurations to refine gameplay experiences further. Now we're talking multiple game servers per solar system and seamless transitions without gates. They're also talking layouts with servers dedicated to entire planets, moons, and other focus solely on landing zones and other key locations with plenty of higher player count experiments this is really exciting this is what's going to allow us to be able to transition from um, one star system to another as well as go to um, a city location and not have too much of a load in terms of uh, performance hit when you actually arrive at the landing zones you're gonna have servers that are going to manage the major landing zones the high populous locations this is really exciting the integration of star system and squadron 42 teams aim to expedite development progress and bring features from squadron 42 to the persistent universe more efficiently the reshuffling of teams will focus on bringing existing features to star citizen while working on new features like base building and crafting to enhance the gameplay experience this is one of the things that i think is going to be super important this way we have a reason to continuously play we need bigger goals than just earning ships this is one of the things i really look forward to and i cannot wait quarterly updates are planned to introduce significant changes and improvements to systems like economy insurance and inventory very exciting stuff cig is very optimistic in achieving a lot of these things that they mentioned their strategic vision for star citizen 1.0 which was mentioned in a spectrum post recently but now we're getting an official word here as well which will represent a stable and polished release so now with star citizen alpha 1.0 they're going to be moving from early access to an actual proper commercial release and this is going to be very exciting this is going to be the point where star citizen is going to be identified as a legitimate game and not a tech preview very exciting stuff they also mentioned exciting updates that are incoming including stars alpha 3.23 and invictus launch week and they also mentioned an event that will enable players to earn ship upgrades now it says here it says that they we're planning a series of missions to earn your uee civilian defense force stripes and it says potentially earn an incredibly powerful and unprecedented in-game upgrade if you complete all of them so you are ready to face xeno threat in a more personal matter so recently they've been there's been leaks pertaining to 
the new Mark II for the F7C, the Hornet. Um, not the F7C, but the F7 itself. And um, I believe that this upgrade is going to be related to that. That's my suspicion. Um, that um, if we complete all those missions, we'll have the option to actually maybe purchase it in game or to get it in game or they will add it to your actual RSI account. This way you'll always have this upgrade from, I guess, the regular Hornet to the new Mark II version of the Hornet. Just to let y'all know, my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video.